Less than 24 hours from now, dozens of people living at this large encampment near the governor's mansion in Denver's Capitol Hill neighborhood will be forced to leave. The city says it's cleaning, cleaning it up, shutting it down because of the condition of the camp. Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio speaking with a nonprofit helping around 70 people prepare for the move to hotel rooms, while neighbors near the camp say it is well past time for the city to take control and close it for good. Everett Martin Gallegos apartment sits in the heart of Denver's Capitol Hill neighborhood, but just a few feet from his front doorstep. Getting worse day by day. Are rows of tents and makeshift shelters. A homeless encampment across from the Colorado governor's mansion even takes over sections of sidewalk. This here's just sad for the neighborhood and the businesses around here. There's no reason for it. The city of Denver says it's moving around 70 people to hotel rooms on Monday because of the overwhelming amount of trash, human waste, and discarded needles. On Tuesday, notices show the camp will be shut down. Those who didn't make it on the list for the hotel transfer will have to take advantage of the shelter system until other resources become available. According to city officials, that could take weeks or even months. After living on the streets for 17 years, Bobby Lively is hopeful about the hotel room offers. No, they're trying something different. I mean, nobody wants to, nobody wants to see us. They don't want to look at us. But he acknowledges many may check in and not stay. There's a lot of freedom out here. To help prepare those who are making the move. Is Headwaters Protectors, a nonprofit founded during a pandemic to bring people access to drinking water and public sanitation? I mean, I think this location, more than almost any, is a stark example of power and wealth versus people who need assistance. Founder Ian Thomas Tafoya shows us how their mobile unit helps those experiencing homelessness clean their pots and pans. Their team passes out hygiene products, trash bags, even Narcan. After living out here for months, Alex West thinks Monday could be a new start for those who want the help. Most of the people who have like, you know, still some kind of lives to like salvage, I think they're going to take this hand up and run with it. In Capitol Hill, Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. And we asked the city what will be done to keep people from just moving back to that encampment once the city closes it down this week. Will there be fencing, extra law enforcement patrolling? Well, a spokeswoman says the city is finalizing details on exactly what that will entail early this week. Going in depth, the city launched a dashboard this week to track Mayor Johnson's progress of housing 1,000 people by the end of the year. According to the dashboard, 102 people have been housed since it started in mid-July. Those include both permanent and temporary solutions. Now, so far this month, more than 30 people have been connected with housing, which is similar to this time last month. In total, in August, 46 people were housed. But if the city stays at that rate, it will fall several hundred short of the 1,000 goal. And Denver has identified 11 locations for micro-communities for people who are homeless. Mayor Johnston says these locations were picked based on their proximity to transit, access to utilities, and distance from schools. The communities would have mental health and substance use resources on site.